If you are, just ho I just hope you don't die like you did that one time. <laughs> I hate squirrels. I hate these things. <laughs> I'm a girl. <laughs> Ah, uh, don't you dare be happy sour Fiora. Fior <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> this is go bring in the blooper reels. <laughs> oh, sweet Fiora. Oh, are we gonna eat that? I hope not, cause it's vegetables and I hate vegetables. <laughs> I think it's Ryan, or I think it's Shulk that hates vegetables. I speak for Shulk. <laughs> Oi, what are you calling a monkey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fiora, we don't, I don't have those. This ain't, this ain't modern times. <laughs> we don't have cable mice. <laughs> It's USB these days, come on. It's wireless. <laughs> Get with the goddamn times, Fiora. Are you happy now, Fiora? <laughs> I hope so, Google, I'm drowning you in them. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of rabbits are bouncing up and down on you. All the bunnies. <laughs> uh, makes you wonder why there's a bunny and bunnies. Can you cook this place? <laughs> ah, fish. <laughs> ah, I am uh, the Enigma uh, at the Enigma L Lotus. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people know about its juice. <laughs> it's very rhythmic, if you ask me. <laughs> but what's your obsession with mice, Fiora? It's kind of weird. And why you call this thing hot? I don't think chocolate. I can if you call something. As something else hot. <laughs> I'd say we can the monkey. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I might be a prince. You never know. I like the shrooms. <laughs> the rat can't. <laughs> I'll leave you to guess which one. <laughs> I'm a Fiora. There's no note on my shins. <laughs> Goddamn line. <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> insert, insert, insert Family Guy joke here. <laughs> I guess. Johnny Hearn and bunnies and monkeys. Where are we keeping them? Ah oh, yes, Zanza's favorite animals, the dancing squirrels. <laughs> when he became a god, he wanted to make sure that there were lots of squirrels who danced. He just likes the way he, they move their small claws. <laughs> and there we go! Go party in full swing. Everyone is now a heart. <laughs> Fun funny how it took Ryan to be the most insensitive person to actually be best friends with everyone. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, it's all around. And it's funny how it only took two hundred hours. <laughs> yep. Two 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 hundred and one. <laughs> We've spent 201 hours on this project. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I love this game. On that note, hey everyone, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last uh, episode, Ryan got to meet his sensitive side while talking to Sharla, and we took down the final mechon in the form of, uh, of ancient Greece. <laughs> yep, I still can't believe that was a thing. This episode though, we're going into the options menu! <laughs> no, 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 we're, uh, we're joking. Here, we're reaching one of the fi uh, final heart to hearts with the people who just be became hearts just now. 
Ryan and Fjord. So, let's get to it. Ryan, look, what a sight. It's a sight, all right. What's wrong, Ryan? It's not like you look so serious. Nay, I could be serious if I want to. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like that. What's on your mind? <sighs> for for a time I came here. Before I came here with Shult, I'd never seen this place. Was there something special about that day? You've never told me about it. Nah, you could say that. It's a day we set out from Colony 9. Well, it might not have been the exact day. I don't remember. Oh, I see. Was that just after I was taken? I messed up pretty badly that day. Why would you say that? Man, now you're the one not acting like yourself. I suppose. But if I hadn't tried to be a hero, you could have stayed in Colony 9. Uh, and no one thinks that, Fiora. Don't beat yourself up about it. But, Ryan, I... I don't regret leaving from the Colony behind. And I don't blame you for all the stuff that's happened. That makes me feel better. Thanks, Ryan. Even if you hadn't got a kid in that, that day, we still were of it left. It feels like we were destined or something. You think the Monado would have led you on this journey anyway? Yeah, something like that. Or maybe you'd have just kept browbeating us until we did it. Much as I hate to admit it, I think you hit the nail on the head. I can't imagine just sitting there with a colony in ruins. I'd have wanted to go out and get revenge on the Mechon. I knew it. So don't worry about it, okay? Soon, Death's Law will all be over and we can all go back to the colony for good. That sounds great. Now for me, I I like that because it shows that Fjord and Ryan do trust each other and, you know, and no matter which way you, you, it would have gone, it was fate that they would have left the colony. Mm -hmm. That's the nice conversation. What happens if we talk about Ryan's cooking skills? <laughs> oh joy. Tomorrow's dinner. What else? I'll look out, I'll, I'll look out across this beautiful vista. Surprising that I know that word. <laughs> and I, I can't help but think. What are we going to eat tonight? What? How are the two in any way connected? I'm just worried about it, okay? You know, it's my turn to make di a dinner. Except I ain't gonna run off in a buggy. <laughs> and you always get angry when I cook. And you know why, too. Because you just cook meat. So? Meat's good, Ryan. Ryan, I put it can attest. Meat is good. So it's canon. Ryan's not a vegetarian, huh? No. It's full of, um, uh, a mate. And don't you think I'm a cook to prove since I left the colony? Well, I don't remember you cooking a single meal at the colony, so... Uh, nope. Had never touched a frying pan in my life. But I'm, I'm a new Ryan these days, and the start of that tonight, I'm going to make you an extra special specialty. Ooh, what is it? I call it... Gourmet cabbage parcels. I read the recipe in some book once. Mm -hmm. It looked like something even I could manage. Sounds like you're learning. I can't wait. Oh, but I remember Charlotte saying she doesn't like cabbage parcels. Uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, alright, then I, I won't cook after all. Wait, um, wait a minute. You were supposed to be making it for me, not Charla. Yeah, I, I did, but, you know... Major uh, 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 majority rules. I've I got to cater to all tastes. Me, it is. How is that catering to all tastes? I already told you I don't want meat. Right. How about an omelet? They're easy to make, and Charlotte's a big fan. Hey, no one was talking about Char Charlotte. Why? Why are you bringing her up? Who is Charlotte? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I guess if you want eggs, I can't really mess that up. Hooray for Ryan, the best chef on all by honest. You cook the shells, right? <laughs> <laughs> you bet, before you know it, I'll, I'll be cooking up a storm. <laughs> <laughs>
You throw the yolks in the bin, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Which part of the egg comes out of the chicken? <laughs> the mouth or the art? Ah, oh, I ain't doing that. Oh. <laughs> but I guess on that lesser kind note, or if you want to go another route, how about you say what Ryan decides to use as utensils? <laughs> Something tells me Shulk would not be happy. He'd find a lot of lettuce on a sword, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to make you my extra special specialty. Ooh, what is it? Sautéed beast on the bone. So, I'll get a big go joint of meat. Then, I'll marinate it for 20, 24 hours and I'll roast it over an open fire. A real man's dinner. If that's all you can come up with, I'm never eating your food again. And as I'm waiting for another 24 hours for tonight's dinner. <laughs> gotcha. Don't, I don't know if you're, I was only jo joking. Yeah, laugh it up. It's all one big joke to you. The rest of us are sick of you serving up big burnt slabs of meat. All right, fine. Why well, don't you teach me how to cook more and more stuff? Now, Ryan, I don't mind teaching you, but are you going to listen? You remember what happened the last time, don't you? You borrowed the Monado and tried to use it to cut vegetables. Don't you worry, Fiora. Just don't tell Shulk. <laughs> when, when we get back to the colony, I'll be the bestest student ever. You better not let me down. I can't just see you injuring yourself using a real knife. Right. Man, this cooking stuff sounds so dangerous. Hope you're going to be gentle with me, Fiora. Put that out of context. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Heartbreaking, more like mind breaking, and I'm not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> Great. And well, it doesn't help that Fiora uses knives. No. Show it shows the point Tien, right? <laughs> and as we appear now in the grey glacier, right where Momcar was, Ryan Ryan just talked about beasts on the bone. Well, I don't know much about gourmet cooking, but I don't think you can get more of a beast than this thing. Mm -hmm. I would definitely include top, not, not putting Spike at defenses on 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 you because you're. I said that wrong. You probably probably are gonna need it because we have the big biggest beastie of all. If you couldn't tell, you don't need to worry about agility, because this guy is so slow. On that, though, here we go. Blizzard Belagazus. If you want me to be honest, this guy is the most boring super boss of all time. I agree. Because with the bonnet, he's nothing but offense. He is quick, and he is a battle for Dunban as much as you can get the mech on it's fast paced you're gonna keep you're gonna keep beep your wits about you it's very it's very twitchy which is the kind of style that i like mm -hmm. and there and there's even other bosses which you know inflict the same reaction this guy is a war of attrition this is the equivalent of banging your head against the wall and expecting something to change and it's a pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. So, what do I mean by that? Well, he has he has the most health out of all of the super bosses at over six hundred thousand. If you guys can tell, this guy is a big boy, and his and his f physical defense is at sixty percent. <laughs> and his weak spots are only on the sides. So, if you want them to play some as kind of positional game. You are gonna have a tough time. But on that though, his his attacks, they don't mess around. First off is is his vicious combo, which doesn't have a massive multiplier, but it can hit twice and it can knock you back. So good job. And for my favorite gimmick of this guy is Rex Gore. Trust me, you'll see why in a moment. Can attack twice. But this is one of the only monsters in the game which has a certain effect depending on the weather conditions. If there's a blizzard, 
with Rex Gore, it could be an insta-kill. So, let it be known, when Rex is in, in the blizzard, that's instant death for you. <laughs> Lovely. And yes, can also blow you down and daze you, should you not be careful. Next up is his Mountain Stomp attack, which I think is one of his most dangerous attacks of all, despite, despite what I just said, because at least with the insta-death, you can dodge that you know, by praying to the weather gods. <laughs> but at like, but like, at like the same, it can it can blow you down and daze you, which is not good. Yeah, and I I took this guy off screen as a test run, and he sometimes does it, and I don't get a vision for it, so I'm screwed. I die. So it's difficult to avoid. Like right now, I didn't get a vision for it. No, it's very disruptive and can be deadly if you're not careful. I, it's something that we haven't mentioned before during the Super Boss fights, but in some cases, in some cases like this, the Super Bosses can all come from luck based. You you can either have a good run or a bad run, depending on what art you you use, what arts the guy uses. The weather condition is especially dangerous with this guy, and again, it's just it it just depends. It, is is if your is if your defenses occur as well. So yeah, don't don't feel bad if you have to give these two uh, uh, super bosses a bit of a try. Next up is Rex Poison. Yeah, yeah, this guy knew uh, knew about about Xenoblade Two beforehand. This one is a really strong attack, which uh, which nearly has a f a free a free times multiplier. And it can poison you and, and and do double damage. And guess what? Another blizzard. So good for you. The thing can all I think I think can also knock you back as well. Next up is Rex Raw. Yep, still going on. And it's like pre and it's like pre previously bind and pierce during a blizzard. Next one is Tyrannus Raw, which is his cray state, which you can hope to uh, mitigate with uh, various te uh, techniques. Finally, his town art, Frozen Graveyard. That has a four times mul multiplier of damage. And it can hit in the frontal arc, so if you're not careful, that's pr it might as well be an insta-kill for you guys. Yeah, but this isn't the toughest thing about him. The most annoying thing about, about about him is that he has a, a spike, a topple spike, two and a half thousand points of damage to it. So, so, uh, so that as that puts topple, toppling at kind of another disadvantage, unless you want to change your spike uh, defense. This guy is Ryan in a nutshell. If you were to just simply attack Ryan with auto attacks, mm -hmm. the the one uh, the one thing that would make this even more annoying is it is if he could, uh, could give himself HP. Thank God, uh, thank God he doesn't. But if you want to see just an irritating run of this guy, we are you're probably going to cut ahead and take. And just endure what we can. Yeah, and because since he's a big wall, he takes a long time to bring down. It's it's high it's high chance you're gonna get into the daytime. So your night vision gems are not gonna really be useful. But he's so slow, so you can still hit him somewhat. Mhm. Mm and you could and you might say, oh well, if I attack him early on during the night time. You know, it won't possibly end until daytime, and you know, it's not it's not in the blizzard right now. Each of our test runs have have run into a blizzard. So either we are extremely unlucky, or they designed this fight in a way in which it's almost guaranteed that you run in into a, into a blizzard. Mhm. Mm because we've gone through Bla we've gone through Val Mountain quite a lot of times, but. Getting a blizzard to appear has always been difficult until we get to this guy. So, unless you're really hampering for a blizzard, good luck. That's all I'll say. 
For our sanity and your sake, we're not going to be going for a, a blizzard run because we because uh, we don't like to die. But until then, it's just us just trying to survive. Now, now, we'll, now we could try to mitigate. There we are, blizzard incoming, and, and we're not even halfway way 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 done. I think it is scripted. <laughs> yep. Which is annoying. Mm-hmm. Now, now we could try to topple block him and just take him on that way, but we we want to show you the absolute pain that that this guy can be. We're we're doing this on purpose, just so uh, just so you can see how irritating this gear this is and what a godsend something like topple lock can be. So, ever with us, and we'll see you at the end of the fight, provided no hijinks ensue. <laughs> and what are the odds that they're gonna do? So we'll uh, so we'll see you in a little bit. A little bit for you guys, an hour and a half for us. Hijinks ensued. <sighs> At least now, at least now we can properly time time this. Look at that smirking smirk that he's not smir smirking at all. Yeah, because I wouldn't have died had I gotten a vision for his attack. I don't know if the vision system cools down or I'm just getting unlucky. Sansa is messing with you. <laughs> Well, that sucked. <laughs> I counted this the back somehow. Oh, you found! You found! You found the toe! <laughs> you have found the toe! <laughs> I have never said that with such enthusiasm in my life. The toe! The toe! Oh, damn it! <laughs> the toe! The toe is no lo longer there. <laughs> I'd hate to be Dunban and have to stare at that face all the all day. Dunban gives no no crap. <laughs> he faces more with the jaws of death. He falls and so value you know. <laughs> <laughs> I am inside his foot. I am I I am destroying him from the inside. <laughs> ah, the hit the tech now, goddamn unique monsters. At least they're not like tyrants. Nope. Tyrants launch you if you run into them. Armor wore off at the very last second. Yep, because of course it did. Sure. How good? Oh no! <laughs> How good? Oh no! Wait, we're not good because I died. <laughs> yeah, it's daytime now. <laughs> Yeah, but that means things are going to slow down to a bit of a crawl, making this even more of a joyous fight. Mm. So keep in mind, we have been going about this for about, what, 50 minutes now? If not 20? <laughs> yeah, a bit of a slog. He's backing up, he's cowering, he knows he's beaten. <laughs> we did it. Who did that? Who was the idiot? I mean, to be fair, they weren't getting anything damaged by that. Dumban was. I think Dumban has that steel protection thing. Ah, indeed. Feeling it. We haven't 
No, no, you're not, Shulk. Shulk, I will take this sword to your head if you if you do that again. <laughs> I fought heat bullet. <laughs> I fought something different, but I'll take it. You're so close to dying! Why won't you die? Leave it to me. Is it worth it? I'm really Probably. It's not over yet. Here I come. Do your flash. More. Okay. Damn it! A slash and beating the odds <laughs> is an achievement worth getting. <laughs> To be 10 enemies uh, that are higher than you. That is the achievement that a lot, a lot, a lot of people don't normally get. <laughs> but we did. And clocking in, that took us 25 minutes. And I also like how it gives a little it's a bit of encouragement from the art books he drops. <laughs> you can do it. Mm. I heavily appreciate that. Before we forget though. Oh, Bugsy Drops, Spear Break, Hammer Beat, You Can Do It, and Steel Strike. And like all unique monsters he gives here, he gives the glory gear. And our favorite weapon of all time, a cape. A cape. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only bl bloody thing this thing gives. Apart from, you know, the Adam's Apple, which is useless but is selling fodder and virtuous gl a glyph in which you can get for a love source he sure. also got a good crystal too mm-hmm so, so plus five and a divine protect five trust hmm. me what are we gonna need divine protects for i've never used them in this game what's the point in them you want to know you want to know what you need need them for you need them for hell. <laughs> you need you need them for the ultimate fight. <laughs> if you thought that guy was a pain. Oh, this guy knocks your socks off so much so that you die. The joys. But in summary, that guy sucks. Mm -hmm. Complete waste of time. And the vision system isn't always reliable, too. Nope. I but, just had to spam armor in order to get past it. Yeah. But... Valic Mountain is not done yet. The super bosses began in Valic Mountain. So why not end with it? It's time, guys. We're going back to the top of the mountain. The fi fi final fight is at the summit. But on that, on, on, on that note, guys, if you like the video, be sure to like it. If you don't like it, well, well then. <sighs> you are a behemoth of a person. <laughs> but if you want to subscribe to see more content like this, then be sure to subscribe and... As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time, in which we take flight mm -hmm. to the summit. A divine flight, and not to Zanza. No, not, not, not yet. See, see. It's foreboding. We didn't plan this at all, no cuts. It's just inviting us. On that note, did the last fight I just did, did the blizzard ever come? No, I don't think it did. Hmm, I still think it's scripted though. <laughs> it's rigged in some way. But anyway, this this art this art has gone on long enough. Thank you very much for watching, guys. The blizzard setting in. It's gonna be a long night. <laughs>